Right, back again with another interesting circuit. Um, this neon bulb is actually being lit by a tiny solar panel which only pumps out 4 point, about 4.2 volts maximum. Um, and this takes 90 volts um, to light. So, and I'm doing this for a basic circuit. I found it on YouTube. Uh, 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 the details uh, of where it come from I'll show you in the schematics. But the only difference is I've put a variable resistor in instead of an 18k one, and the capacitor is a one microfarad. And I need a 0.01 microfarad. And there you go. It's lighting. Uh, this transformer I just rubbed it out of some old god knows what piece of TV or something I don't know but also there's a super capacitor in line with the um, um, solar panel and yeah that's all that's lighting this 90 volt neon bulb um, I'll show you here the, all that's left of the um, input voltage that's it if I remove the um, power ah uh, it's on the capacitor it go up too slow I'm not doing that so there you go to that that's the input voltage at DC straight from the little super capacitor solar panel and this is the output voltage AC and as you can see it's uh yeah that's pretty high from two volts two point five volts to um fifty eight volts that's quite quite a jump and if I remove the uh the neon bulb you'll see that there's actually more that's seventy six volts yeah look 76 volts AC so she's whacking out quite a quite a pack just from a very small source and uh, let me just put, in and put that back in and that's what's left of the voltage there's still plenty of voltage left um, so here's the schematics and it says on there change the capacitor size to get the frequency and uh, on the neon bulb it doesn't really matter about the to see it doesn't seem to matter on the frequency but if you want to use a CFL um, it does matter and you have to get that frequency right so the 0.01 microfarad uh, capacitor will do the job and I'll show you what I mean about frequency if I use a switch on the circuit and uh, switch them over there you go it's actually trying to light the the CFL I, thought I need to get this right because I get phasing and sometimes you cannot see the light coming on it is very frequent um, but for some reason it's not actually showing it up there you go oh. Yeah, you're only getting certain certain uh, bits of the flash. That is frequent. You know, you can take my word for that. That is frequent. I mean, it's not coming out on the recording, but every now and then you can see the frequency of it. And like I say, just change the capacitor and that'll be fixed. It should come on constantly. This is just a small 14 watt um, CFL. So yeah that'll be interesting to see that working once I've done that so and all I've got to do is harvest a, uh, a bit from a, an old TV or something so hopefully but I can't get the frequency right on this recording every now and then it's right but yeah it's, it's just intermittent but there I'll leave you with the circuit again um, very basic two transistors one capacitor and one resistor and a transformer any old transformer do um, I suppose um, just experiment if you want to but
well because the big, bigger the, the transformer the more power output you get I could rewire this uh, thing take off the um, input wires and just just rewire those and see if I get a better ratio better output that, that would be interesting but time consuming so I'm going to mess about with this toroid first of all nice big chunky uh, inch and a half toroid and uh, mess about with windings there because it's the same thing it's just induction again I guess so yeah and uh, yeah as I said the neon bulb doesn't matter about frequency it's on very constant um, if I change the capacitor that will start flashing if I give it 2200 microfarads or something it will start flashing but yeah two transistors one resistor and one capacitor inverter 1.5 volts plus um, the more voltage you give it and bear in mind you've got to go careful because the transistor starts getting hot then the little one I'm gonna have to try and get a larger alternative but yeah from a small 1.5 volt source you get this neon bulb lighting and that's all it seems to need for a decent amount I can even light it with a dead battery so dead you know dead double A or triple A so yeah there you go I'll leave you with the circuit once more and uh, yeah have fun with uh, with this because uh, it's quite it's quite interesting making s massive amounts of volts from practically nothing so uh, that alone is is very interesting so have fun and thanks for watching